my Pokemon Platinum Nuzlocke that I will hopefully complete. Get my closer to my mouth real quick. Okay. Them, please let me know in the comments. Hello, it's so very nice to meet you. Welcome to the world of Pokemon. My name is Rowan. However, everyone just calls me the Pokemon Professor. Before I go any further, is this your first adventure? If you need advice, I'm certainly capable of giving it. This world is widely inhabited by creatures known as Pokemon. Here, I have a Pokeball. Touch the button on the middle of the Pokeball if you please. We humans live alongside Pokemon as friends. At times we play together, and at other times we work together. Some people use their Pokemon to battle. I conduct research so that we may learn more about Pokemon. Now, why don't you tell me a little about yourself? Are you a boy or are you a girl? The age old question. Alright, so you're a boy? I need him. Tell me, what is your name? I'll just be using this as usual. That way, everybody will know I am the one who indeed had my Pokemon die. Ah. Really need a new computer. Noise just cut out on my end for a second. Uh, yes, that is indeed my name. Okay, so you're Ethan. A fine name, that is. Now, this boy here, I believe he's your friend. What might his name be? He is Barry the Relentless. Barry, is it? That's your friend's name? Yes. Alright, Ethan, the time has come. Your very own tale of grand adventures is about to unfold. On your journey, you will meet countless Pokemon people. I'm sure that along the way, you will discover many things, perhaps even something about yourself. Now, go on, leap into the world of Pokemon. Pokemon are by our side always. I hope you understand the meaning of those words. That was the comment left by Professor Roan, who's returned to Sinnoh from the Kanto region. No news about the Red Gyarados? Aww. That concludes our special program, Let's Ask Professor Roan. Brought to you by Jubilife TV on Nationwide Net. See you next week, same time, same channel. There you are. Hey, Ethan, did you just see the TV? Sure you did. Professor Rowan's that really important guy who studies Pokemon, right? That means he must have lots and lots of Pokemon. So, if we ask him, I bet he'd give us some Pokemon. Oh, hey, is this a new PC? Uh, where was I? Oh, right, right. We're going to go see Professor Roan and get some Pokemon. I'll be waiting outside. Okay, Ethan, if you're late, I'm finding you 10 million Poke Dollars. Okay, real quick, uh, tech speed fast, uh, let's look for a nice frame real quick, shall we? Uh... Honestly, simple because just an underused frame, we're going with the Pokeball frame.
switch to the electric settings? Yes, we will. We shall. Ah. My computer. Ethan. Barry already left. I don't know what it was about, but he sure was in a hurry. Barry gets to start with running shoes. Oh yes, Ethan, don't go into the tall grass. Wild Pokemon might attack you. It would be okay if you had your own Pokemon, but you don't, so... Well, take care, sweetie. Around. You should come too, quickly. Oh jeez, forgot something. I better take my bag and journal too. Oh hey Ethan, I'll be waiting on the road. It's a 10 million Poke Dollar fine. Pokemon dollars or just dollars when I'm pretty sure it's pokey dollars At least that's how I've always known them is pokey dollars Most known as fancy looking yen symbol <laughs> Too slow Yeah, well if I had running shoes or a bike right now All right What, don't go into the grass, right? No worries, no problem. It doesn't matter that we don't have any Pokemon. Trust me on this one, I've got an idea. Now listen, you know how wild Pokemon jump out when you go into tall grass? So, what you do is, you scoot over to the next patch of grass before any wild Pokemon can appear. If we just keep dashing, we can get to Sandrum Town without running into any wild Pokemon. Okay, Barry, running attracts more wild Pokemon. You know that, right? Okay, stick with me. Okay, here go- Barry, you, you don't know what you're doing. On your marks? Hold it! Aw, oh, thank Arceus, the sensible old man. You two don't seem to have any Pokemon between you. Then what is the meaning of going into the tall grass? Hey, Ethan, this old guy. That's Professor Rowan, isn't it? What's he doing here? They tried to go into the tall grass because they wanted Pokemon. Hmm, what to do? Their world would surely change if they are to meet Pokemon. Is it right for me to put them on that path? You two, you truly love Pokemon, do you? Hells yeah. Me too, I love Pokemon too. I will ask you once again. You two truly love Pokemon, do you? What? You can ask a hundred times. The answer will never change. We'll both answer a hundred times. We love Pokemon. Right, Ethan? I mean... You can't see it, but behind my computer I have a, st a stuffed Vulpix and a stuffed Pit Plup, so... Yes. A pair of reckless kids who foolishly try to enter tall grass without Pokemon of their own. They worries me what people like that would do. Worries me why my computer keeps cutting sound and randomly doing static noise. Why? I really hope none of that gets in the video. Uh, well, I, uh... Well, then forget about me, but give a Pokemon to my friend here. I mean, it was me who tried to go into the tall grass and all. How big of you! Very well, then. I will entrust you two with Pokemon. I apologize for putting you through that exercise. However, you must...
must promise me that you will never recklessly endanger yourselves again. Now then, hmm? Now where? Professor Rowan, you left your briefcase at the lake. Oh, is something wrong here? Ah, there it is. Dawn, nice work. What I was about to do was to entrust these two with their own Pokemon. Pardon? Those Pokemon are hard to replace. Are you sure about giving them away? Hmm. We exist side by side with Pokemon. There comes a time when people should meet Pokemon. There is a world that should be explored together. For them, today is that time, the place right here. Go on, open the briefcase and choose a Pokemon. Really? Professor Rowan, I can't believe it. I'm so happy now that I can't keep a straight face. Faith, and you can choose first. Hey, I'm practically grown up. I have to show some class here. Ah. Accidentally opened up a tab. Uh, there is my Emperor Penguin. Then I choose you. I'm picking this turret wig. Very well. Both of you have chosen a good Pokemon, it seems. Now listen well. The Pokemon you have been entrusted with are unfamiliar with the world. Regard, they're such like you. As fellow newcomers to the world, I hope you're do well together. If you have any trouble, come see me at my lab in Sanjum Town. And now we'll be on our way. Professor, wait for me, please. I'm sorry, please let me pass. What if you say walking tutorial? How do you like that? Professor Owen's really nice. On TV, he seems so stern and scary. Eh, Ethan, we both got Pokemon now. There's only one thing to do, right? Are you up for this? Yeah! I've always wanted to say this. The time has finally come. Ethan, I challenge you to a battle! Challenged by Pokemon Trainer Barry. Alright, so basically, the idea is to just spam pound. That, that's literally what I always do. One, the, that one hurt you. Or that one hurt you. spamming an offense move. Who do you think's gonna win here? <laughs> Not that it really matters anyway, because I didn't get Pokeballs yet, so the Nuzlocke can't really end yet. So, you know. Also, I've noticed my copy of Pokemon Soul Silver works on my older model of 3DS. So I get to play through that game for the first time. And hopefully can trade with my copy of Platinum. I'd imagine it could, but... Never know, because it's a fake. And there's a level up. Pip-Plup grew to level 6. Player defeat Pokemon Trainer Barry. Woo, let's go home. I'm beat after that battle. My Pokemon needs rest too. See ya, Ethan. What's the matter, dear? 
wow, that's what happened to you? You and Barry are lucky to have met Professor Roan. Imagine if you didn't. I don't like to think of what the wild Pokemon might have done to you two. I mean... I guess the Starlies could peck my eyes out, but aside from that, there's Bidoof. And I mean, sure its bites will hurt, but I doubt they could, like, kill me. So... Ethan, go see Professor Roan and think properly for your Pokemon. His lab's in Sanjum Town, isn't it? Now that you have your own Pokemon, the tall grass won't be so threatening. Oh, I know, Ethan, put these on. The best item in the game, by the way. Go to Sanjum Town. It's in... I am having a stroke trying to read right now. Going to Sanjum Town is like an adventure in itself, right? With those running shoes, you can get to faraway places much faster. Okay, let me read the instructions. Press the B button and dash about... About faster than ever before. Put on the running shoes and blaze new trails of adventure. Well, isn't that just nifty? Dear Lord, I don't know why, but I am having a stroke trying to read. Thankfully, in like three weeks, I get new glasses with a better prescription for me, so. Too slow. Ethan, I'm sick of waiting. I'm going to see Professor Roan so I can thank him properly. So, I had this great idea. Listen up, okay? You know that lake where we always play at? You know how they say legendary Pokemon lives there? You guessed it, let's catch that Pokemon. That'll make Professor Rowan happy, I'm sure of it. Me and you together, we've got nothing to fear. Okay, but like Barry, I just want to point out that you were expecting me to come when I could have never came. Just saying. Plus, it's the middle of the night, Barry. Look, the moon is out. Alright, we're at the lake. Get ready, because we're capturing that legendary Pokemon with the Pokeballs we do not have, but I'm not going to bring that up until a couple of seconds later. Trust me on this one, it's here. It even says so on the sign. I mean, isn't the one here Mesprit anyway, which is a roaming legendary? What's going on? Flowing time, the expanding space. I'll make it all mine one day. Cyrus is my name. Remember, until then, sleep all you can, legendary Pokemon of the lake bed. Wait, which one? There's three of them, Cyrus. Allow me to pass. Step aside. What was that about? Weird guy. Okay, then let's catch that legendary Pokemon. What is it, Barry? Did you hear that, Ethan? That was the legendary Pokemon crying. That had to be it. Okay, this is our chance. Let's catch it. Okay, now instead of using our Pokemon, Barry, I'll pick you up and chuck you at it. What? We don't have anything on us. You know, Pokeballs. P-O-K accent E balls. If we don't have those, we can't catch Pokemon or take them around with us. Do you think Professor Roan would give us some if we asked him? You know, you remember what he said, don't you? He said to visit him at his lab if we needed anything. Okay, then I'll race you. First one to Professor Roan's lab in San Jimitown rules. I mean, I guess you're like my second or third favorite rival. I really like silver, so. And then, uh, uh blue or neutral. Oh yeah, we could end up getting a Cricketot at some point, couldn't we? Also, uh, I'm probably going to be using the 
upper screen in OBS is what I'll be looking at and then for the lower screen I'll be looking at the emulator because I had to string shrink the uh, however I say the emulator's name Desmium I don't know how to pronounce it but basically I'm gonna I have I had to shrink that pretty small to be able to get the border to look how it does and the nuzlocke did not start yet because I do not have pokeballs yet that said I don't remember ever losing that fast in a pokemon game like dear lord like 90% of my losses are in trainer battles, if not, maybe even more of my losses are in trainer battles. Let's try not to die this time. Run. My pit pup got beat up by a cricket. Hmm, I see. This Pokemon seems to be rather happy. Yeah, I uh, di didn't think pit pup would be happy about getting beat up. Well, you like to give it a nickname? According to the rules, I literally. Where's the P? Naming it after a water god, I forget which mythology, don't at me. Hmm, okay, I see. And you're happy with that nickname? Yes, I'm happy with that saw you two about to step into the tall grass without Pokemon, I was shocked. I was astounded by these foolhardy children, but now you've astounded me in an entirely different way. Already there is a bond growing between you and that Pokemon. I feel privileged to have met you. I'm sure Piplup feels the same way about you. That's why I'll ask you to cherish that Piplup of yours. I'm so glad that you're kind toward Pokemon. If you weren't, I'd have to. Oh, I just can't say it. Murder me? I'll take that silence as a yes! Ahem. Let's move on to the main topic. There is something I want you to do for me. Allow me to properly introduce myself first. My name, as you know, is Rowan. I study Pokemon. First of all, I want to know exactly what kinds of Pokemon live in the Sinnoh region. To do so, it is necessary to collect data using the Pokédex. This is what I wish to ask of you. I want to entrust you with this Pokédex. Will you use it to record data on all the Pokemon in the Sinnoh region for me? What if I don't want to? I can stand here without speaking for hours. I'm a very patient man. Let me ask you again, you I want to entrust you with this Pokédex. Will you record it to... Ah, will you use it to record data on all the Pokémon 
what's in our phone? I mean, I have to say yes. automatically record data on every kind of Pokemon you encounter. Ethan, I ask that you go everywhere and meet every kind of Pokemon in this region. I've got one too. When you walked up Route 201 with your Pokemon, what did you feel? I've lived for 60 long years, even now. I get a thrill when I'm with a Pokemon. Now, you should know there are countless Pokemon in this world. That means there are many thrills waiting for you. Here we go. It begins right now. The Pokemon that I met for the first time was a Chimchar. If you would have chosen a Chimchar in Route 201, we'd have the same Pokemon now. Uh, no, we, we really wouldn't. If I chose Chimchar, I think you'd have Turtwig. Not that it matters, but anyway, I'm done. I also helped the professor add pages to the Pokédex. So, in a sense, I'm just like you. I just got a little head start on you, that's all. I'll be happy to teach you things. Glad to meet you, Ethan. I have something good here. You should take this as well. That is a Techno Machine. That one contains the move Return. Using a Techno Machine, or TM for short, teaches a move instantly to a Pokemon. Bear in mind, however, that a TM is a single use only. Yes, and that adds to the challenge of a game. Recently, like Pokemon Sword and Shield, had literally no challenge to one. Which seems like a hot take nowadays, but I'm saying it anyway. The move return gains power the more friendly your Pokemon is with you. It's up to you, of course, if you want to use that TM or not. I'll send you off with the wish that joining will be fun. Oh wow, I didn't know the professor had TMs. Was he a trainer when he was young? Okay. He studies Pokemon and stuff, right? So wouldn't he also study their movesets? And you're his assistant? He, he really needs a better assistant. Okay, then I'll act as your mentor. I've got a bit more experience than you as a trainer and as the professor's assistant. I've been playing this series for almost 10 years, Dawn. I've been playing since I was like 9. Okay, fall. Okay, I'm just gonna skip through all this. Because, I mean, if you don't know this stuff, uh, I don't know what to tell you. This is like the most basic of stuff. video is like half an hour long at this point I don't want to stretch it too much further so please consider like commenting subscribing complaining to YouTube about the dislike button being gone and checking out my other videos if you hate my videos feel free to dislike them I guess see all you or warriors later